Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to Yahweh for pushing this word sincerity and in truth back with another lesson. Today is going to just be, be me covering this clip from uh, this is Rebel News, right? Uh, and I just want to cover uh, this topic of this guy Edmonton in Edmonton, which is in Canada. This is Edmonton City Hall attack. Uh, an act of terrorism question mark <laughs> and you got Ishmael sitting on the screen uh, basically running up in the city hall uh, with weapons getting ready to do something right but I'm going to play some of what he said because uh, we're in a time where people are getting riled up people are angry and the love of many is definitely waxing cold man alright people is like hey to hell with it I'm just going to do whatever in the end of the day, he could end up being a patsy or a setup guy. But you're still going to have real live uh, lone wolves that go out here and do certain acts, man. Right. And the reasons uh, he, he going to say why he did it is quite, quite telling, man. Because this guy, from when he speaks, was integrated into that Canadian society, man. But, you know, he was talking about uh, how people can't afford to live inflation inflation you know things of that nature and uh he said this is the reason he's doing what he's doing right especially what's going on also uh with uh over there with uh nation of israel and the palestinians but i'm gonna play a little bit of this grab a couple of scriptures and that's gonna be it so one more time bro. And he's showing uh, weapons on the screen and Molotov cocktails. Like I said, either either way, this is only going to fuel the fire for more division and also uh, more copycats. Like I said, he could be a patsy. He could be a setup guy to push the narrative of uh, <laughs> of Ishmael going crazy out here, which the scriptures talk about. I'm going to grab that scripture too. talk about his true nature. But let's keep going. and sisters um before i do my mission i want you all to know that i am not a psychopath i do not believe in bloodshed i am not one of these monsters that hurt children that hurt innocence and that promote wars or uh, the civilization of our society i'm just tired of seeing the tyranny and corruption taking over our society and our lives salam alaikum brothers and sisters inshallah we'll, i'll succeed with my mission if I don't succeed, I know somebody else will succeed for me. Assalamu alaikum. When? And this is also another scripture. They should not regard their princes or kings. And the modern day uh, princes and kings are these politicians, man. Right? Like I said, this guy from... Uh, I'm going to play a little bit more of him just speaking. Uh... Is what so as far as I know is a Canadian citizen, man. He's talking about taxes. He's talking about this and that, and you're gonna have uh, all type of people going at these politicians in these last days, man. Right? Because they basically <laughs> has basically uh, uh, sold the public out, so to speak. Right? They're not no longer looking out for the best interests of the citizens of the public. It's about them serving. Uh, the elites man right and that's and that's really about bringing in and ushering in that new uh, beast system which goes into the book of revelation where everything is going to be uh, locked down a dystopian future and everything is going to be tracked traced and uh, whatever you do and whatever you spend right it's going to have to be approved man so uh, let's keep going. Let's jump past this guy talking. Tirade, whatever you want to call it, uh, effectively out. The, in the video is 
to view and assess. For Law enforcement, diplomats, politicians, and teachers that raise up, uh, rise up against this wokeism disease that's leading our generation into deception. We need good men and women in all workforces uh, to promote a pro-human life. We need to rise up against this uh, inflation, housing crisis, the unrest uh, that's happening between us because of multiculturalism due to religion, race, and all that stuff. This needs to come to an end with one another. And or anything or anyone that um, leads us into destruction, we must rise and put a stop into it. Leaders, officials, and anybody that has hands into this um, corruption, into this genocide that's going on in Gaza and throughout the world, anybody that is uh, destabilizing other countries, hurting their community, uh, what do you call should feel ashamed of themselves and inshallah we will rise against you guys and we'll put you on trial and he's basically talking about edomites because that's what that's who run the show but anyway let's get into the scriptures uh and this is gonna be quick this is genesis 16 and 11 this is an angel of the lord said unto her behold thou art with child and shall bear a son and shall call his name ishmael right because the lord have heard thy affliction you can read up to the top to get the story, but I'm going to go right to the point. And he will be a wild man, and his hand will be against every man, and every man, every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren, right? So <clears throat> you basically got them uh, versus everybody, man, okay? They're a wild man. They're willing to go out, A, in a blaze of glory, <laughs> shrap with stuff to their chest to blow themselves up, all type of stuff, man. All right, that's uh, Ishmael's M.O. But this guy, uh, he's talking about in inflation and the housing crisis because he lives over there in Canada, man. And you're going to have uh, so-called Americans, so-called Canadians who look like Edomites, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, everyday average Edomites doing the same thing, man. Because they're going to be pushed to the edge uh, by this society, man. Okay. You know, uh. What's it, what's it say? The people are at the end of their fuse, so to speak. Right? And from there, I want to go into uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, uh, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In their time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. I'm going to play a little bit more, see if I can catch a certain part. Put you on trial. As immigrants, we must understand that we are part of this agenda. We're not here for no reason. This is a man-made war. This is a man-made uh, immigration crisis that we're all here. But uh, instead of hate and anger in our hearts, we must spread love, uh, respect one another, show honesty with one another, and promote pro-life and work with one another uh, to build our economy, our country, um, and promote strong and pro-human life. We must respect the Canadians' laws, and we must stand with the owners of this land, and Canadians shoulders to shoulder to fight racism, to fight dissent. And this is only going to cause, like I said, more division. And Satan's kingdom has to have an end, man. Right? He's talking about Canadians standing shoulder to shoulder, shoulder. But he's going to get plastered on the news, and anybody that look like him, <laughs> as what, man? As, as a terrorist, Right? They shoot them with the vest, the guns, the other weapons, right? Uh, regardless of what he's saying now, they're going to say, oh, look out for guys like this. And that's only going to cause more and more division. Because I believe in uh, Canada, they got a lot of, I think, a, a big Arab, so-called Arab population, man, right? Inflation to fight this uh, rising of costs, to fight our tax money going into this genocide that's going into this all these wars, to weapons that's destroying all these countries. We must all stand united and fight this off and promote a healthy social life, healthy uh, health system, healthy education. We got to start um, taking control of our lives and taking control of how we spend our money, how, uh, what do you call, I have a good life. I have a beautiful wife, I have beautiful children, I love them dearly, but I cannot sit back and let this happen. I cannot watch our society crumble into darkness. We all need to... And and this is, you know, I'm taking him at face value. He said he got a wife, he got a child, he got a so-called job, I'm going to say security on his jacket or whatever. 
And uh, <clears throat> he said he can't watch society crumble, man. And little do he know. But that's the, that's the spirit, man. Like I was saying, uh, hey, the Lord is 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 stirring these people up, man. Okay, they're stirring these people up, and you're gonna see more and more of people taking uh, a taking the so-called law into their own hands, man. Right? Actually, let me let me grab that scripture now that it keep coming up. Bear with me. Salakia. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse sixteen. For this shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And when you was watching that video of him, a hey, going up in that, uh, up into that, into that meeting, that city hall. <laughs> And they had these people uh, talking about lock the doors while that was going on outside. <laughs> like I said, it could be staged at the end of the day just to push a certain narrative out there, which is all in the spirit also, man. You know, the Lord allowing this to uh, go down just to hype these people up, man. All right? Like I said, you can get real true people that's going to go out there and, and, and do this, man. But us that's in the know to have the understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, this is all part of the plan leading to the end of the society man okay we all know that uh a hey, the end draw of nigh as the scriptures say but uh let me finish this out a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor and that's like i said that's that's where all this is going this is where it's heading when society collapse, it's going to be every man, uh, every man for himself, right? So-called dog eat dog world to the extreme, man. Right? It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, right? So these are just the beginning seeds, man, of it, of great violence. How a how this so-called Western world is going to go down. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Shimei Washai. And shout on the next time.